Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. Illustrations by Quentin Blake. Chapter 14. Badger has doubts. Just one more visit, cried Mr. Fox. And I bet I know where that'll be, said the small fox, now left. Who's the smallest fox of them all? Well, asked Badger. Well, said the smallest fox, we've been to Boggis and we've been to Bunts, uh, but we haven't been to Bean. Must be Bean. You are right, said Mr. Fox. But what you don't know is which part of Bean's place we're about to visit. Which, they both said together. Ha <laughs> ha said Mr. Fox. Just you wait and see. They were digging as they talked. The tunnel was going forward fast. Suddenly Badger said, Doesn't this worry you just a tiny bit, Foxy? Worry me? said Mr. Fox. What? All this. This. Stealing. Mr. Fox stopped digging and stared at Badger, as though he had gone completely dotty. My dear furry old frump, he said. Do you know anyone? In the whole world, he wouldn't swipe a few chickens if his children were starving to death. There was a short silence while Badger thought deeply about this. You are far too respectable, said Mr Fox. There's nothing wrong with being respectable, Badger said. Look, said Mr Fox, Boggers and Bunsen Bean are out to kill us. You realise that, I hope? I do, Foxy, I do indeed said the gentle badger. But we're not going to stoop to their level. We don't want to kill them. I should hope not indeed, said badger. We wouldn't dream of it, said fox. And she will, we will simply take a little food here and there to keep us and our families alive, right? I suppose we'll have to, said badger. If they want to be horrible, then let them, said Mr Fox. We down here are decent, peace-loving people. Badger laid his head on one side and smiled at Foxy. Foxy, he said, I love you. Thank you, said Mr Fox. And now let's get on with the digging. Five minutes later, Badger's front paws hit against something flat and hard. What on earth is this? He said. Looks like a solid stone wall. He and Mr Fox scraped away at the soil. It was a wall. It was built out of bricks, not stones. The wall was right in front of them, blocking their way. Now, who in the world would build a wall under the ground? Asked Badger. Very simple, said Mr. Fox. It is the wall of an underground room. If I'm not mistaken, it is exactly what I'm looking for.